You are looking into the muzzle of a Japanese 38 revolver. This is one of the many items on sale today at reduced prices. Now, who wants a Harry Carey knife to send to his mother-in-law? <laughs> no demonstration. How about you, sailor? Don't you want your girl to be the first in the block to have a samurai sword? Or to go and fast. Hey, Grover, Skipper says to get the gig ready. We've got an officer's meeting mainside. Sure, sure. In a minute, Mr. Parker. What do you say, fellas? Tomorrow all the stuff goes back to regular prices. Now, shake yourself. How much for the samurai sword? Four money, 20 bucks. Marked down to 15.95 for today only. 15.95? Oh, that's right, Mr. Parker. This is any of that cheap domestic stuff. Look, made in Japan. Oh, boy, oh, boy that's... <clears throat> All right, Grover, get the skipper's gig ready. Oh, Mr. Parker, not in the middle of my spring clearance sale. Can't you get one of the other guys to go? You heard what the man said? How many times they gotta remind you? This is still the Navy. <laughs> now, come on, move it. On the double. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, partner. to the next order of business, gentlemen. And this is something that is very near and very dear to my heart. This is something that I have long felt that we officers have a crying need for. It is a place where we can get away from the strain of war, where we can relax among our own kind. In short, gentlemen, an officer's club. Skipper, did you hear that? An officer's club, just for the officers. That means us. <laughs> I'm delighted to see that you all feel about this project as I do. Because this is not just a dream of the future. The plans have been already drawn up. <laughs> the building materials are standing by. We lay the keel tomorrow. Then you've already picked a site for the club, sir? Indeed I have, Parker. And after many weeks of thought and consideration, I have finally decided on the best place. Mikhail's Island. Did you, did you say my island? That's right, Mikhail. Now hold on, Captain. You can't do this, sir. Are you trying to tell me what I can and cannot do, Commander? Now you listen to me, Mikhail. That island of yours is under my jurisdiction and I'll use it any way I see fit. But it's under my command, Captain. And you are under mine and don't you forget it. Now, as I was saying, any of you gentlemen care to see the plans? I'd like to see them, sir. <laughs> Permission to leave, sir. Granted. Carpenter. Sir. Put the Marine Guards on those building supplies for the club. If I know Mikhail and his gang, they're not going to take this lying down. <laughs> Don't worry, Skipper. We won't shoot to kill. We'll just wing them as they try to land. We got a right to defend our home. This whole thing is unconstitutional. It's an American. <laughs> you tell them, Fooge. We got rights. All right, man, as you were. After all, we officers have rights, too. Don't we? <laughs> but Aaron, in this case, Chuck, oh, Binghamton invading this island is, is no different than old Schickel Gruber marching through those little countries. And this is a democracy, Mr. Parker. This is an island of the crew, by the crew, and for the crew, and we should not let it perish from the earth. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> you tell him, Abe. <laughs> Four score and two hundred days ago, our skipper here uh, brought forth to this uh, island uh, a peaky uh, crew, uh, conceived his liberty, uh, and dedicated to the proposition uh, that all right, this to All right, all right, all right, all right, you made your point. Thank you. Anyway, I had no intention of letting Binghamton take over. Well, what, what do we do, Skip? What do we do? We strike back. That's what we do. We're not letting anybody take over this island without a fight. Yay! Yay! We sail against Binghamton. <laughs> we shall meet the enemy, and they shall be ours. We'll fight them on the beaches. We'll fight them in the sky. We'll meet them in the streets. We'll seek them out in the jungle. Fear. But 
Christy. Tinker. Happy. Grover. Willie. Virgil. All prison counter for, sir. Okay. Now you guys know what you're supposed to do. Only make it look accidental, will you? Okay. Chuck, you're in charge of this mission. I'll handle the rest. We'll, we'll give them all we got, sir. All right. Oh, by the way, sir, to my mother, just in case. <laughs> oh, come on. Yes. Yes. Will you? Oh. Cut that out! <laughs> rushed in here and I... Ah, not looking where you were going. You just smashed into my table and spilled ink all over my plans. Would you look at them? They're ruined. Oh, so help me. Hannah McHale couldn't have done a better job of sabotaging these... Pla <laughs> yeah. That's it. That was the noise that you heard. McHale has got to be at the bottom of this. Right? Sir, I... Oh, what do you want? Don't tell me you tripped too. No, sir. I fell when the barge broke loose and... Oh, I see. You fell when the barge... Did you hear that, Carpenter? The barge broke... <laughs> My building supplies. Don't just stand there. Get me the officer of the deck. Er, uh, I'm afraid he's not quite free just now, sir. He's not free just now? How dare you? Well, he was checking the supply hut, sir, and he got stuck in some wet cement. Wet cement? <laughs> Barges break loose. Plans are ruined. Get me McHale. What was that? Well, it sounds like machine gun fire, sir. Somebody shot McHale. Oh, hooray, they finally got McHale. I wouldn't miss this for the world. There. It's coming from out there, sir. McHale's boat. McHale's boat? Well, I figured that he'd fight back, but I never counted on an all-out war. <laughs> well, don't just stand there. Somebody shoot back at him. He's not quiet enough, sir. He's, he's shooting at the barge. And it's... it's sinking. That's he's sinking the barge. Now, cut that out! The girl cease firing, I said! The girl! Back there! You'd better have a good explanation for what you've done this time. Oh, what'd I do now, Captain? Hey, hey, what's wrong with you, cop? You pinned back up on you? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> McHale, you leave that man alone. You know perfectly well what you did. You sunk that barge on purpose. Well, of course I did, sir. If I shoot at something, I want to hit it. You hear that, Captain? Did you hear that? Oh, I want a written statement on this. Take it down, take it down. Hey, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. what statement? I what? told you, leave that man alone, I said. Well, I was only doing my duty, sir. Sinking a barge? Well, when I saw something moving on the water, refused sir, to identify... Sir, he's going too fast. <laughs> when I saw something moving on the water and they refused to identify themselves, I figured they were Japs sneaking in, so I blasted them. B-L-A-S-T-E-D. Yes. Yeah. Okay? 
Is that right, Chuck? <clears throat> oh, yeah, yes, sir. We kept yelling, Barge 34, who are you? <laughs> Nobody answered. Oh, shut up. Uh, have a beer, Captain. Have a beer. Thank you. I don't want a beer. I can't hear a liar. Wait a no, minute. No, no, those were my supplies. But this little caper of yours isn't going to hold me up for one minute. I'll just set up a temporary club. A uh, temporary club? Well, what do you build it with, sir? I'm not going to build it. It's already built. Mikhail, you and your men clear out of here. Parker, have this place fumigated. Until <laughs> my new supplies arrive. This is the Teratupa Officers Club. Take a note of the address. Cut that out! Get that stuff right up in there. Oh, oh. Hello there. Hello, Captain. Yeah, what's going on? Oh, here? nothing, sir. We're just moving back on the base, sir. Oh, well, that explains why you're bringing... Now, oh, wait a minute. You can't get away with this, Mikhail. Uh, uh, begging the captain's pardon, sir, but uh, Section 12, Paragraph 32, uh, Navy Rules and Regulations, specifically state that upon request of uh, the unit commander, proper quarters shall be assigned to... Stand attention. I stand attention! Now, oh, Ensign, you and your big mouth stay at attention. <laughs> the rest of you men at ease. Now, Mikhail... Can't we be a little bit more reasonable about this? Uh, well, uh, yes, sir. Uh, well, uh... You and your men wouldn't be happy here. It's, uh, it's so crowded here. And there's so many rules and regulations to go by. Oh, well, I'm sure we could get the hang of it, sir. <laughs> Mikhail. Yes, sir. What I'm trying to say is that the rest of the personnel here on Terratupa... Oh, they're nice, clean-cut American boys. Oh? They come from respectable families. Their mothers depend on them. Oh, I understand. <laughs> yeah, my boys do get out of hand occasionally, yes. <laughs> Good, well, that's all settled then. Yes, hmm? sir, I'll do my darndest to keep them under control, sir. <laughs> under control? Hey, yes, sir, you betcha. And now, sir, if you'll excuse me, uh, we have to find our quarters, sir. Uh, all right, man, let's go. Uh, Oh, uh, with the captain's permission. That is. That is it, mother. All right, man. Hard. Hutch. Ah. Bye-bye, <laughs> uh, captain. Bye. <laughs> I've seen better looking cell blocks than Sing Sing. What? Yeah, the newsreels, of course. Oh, uh, boys, my draft board gonna hear about this. Talk about boys. Did you feel this bed? Hello there, you Navy men. Uh, hey, Skip, uh, when are we gonna start wrecking this joint? Uh, yeah. Relax. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, that's exactly what Binghamton is expecting. Yeah, but Skipper, you said we're coming down here to do a little fighting. We are, we are. No, we ain't doing nothing. Look, let me explain it to you. Binghamton is always figuring us to be up to something, right? Well, right, right, right. Says, sure. right. So we just make his life miserable by sitting around doing absolutely nothing. We just rattle our swords a little bit. What swords? We don't have any swords. Are you kidding? I got a whole bag full of collection. Wait a minute. What the skipper means is when we don't do something, we're doing something. It's like a war of nerves. I still don't get it. Oh, well, you just stand there and relax, and I'll explain it to you. Now, look. Every time that Binghamton goes over to the officer's club to relax, we... <laughs> Sir, your dinner is getting cold. Oh, hang the dinner. How can I enjoy a meal over here when Mikhail and his gang are over there doing heaven knows what they're doing? Actually, sir, it seems very quiet over at the base. That's what worries me. It's just a little too quiet over in the base. They're probably sneaking around in the dark, stealing me blind. <laughs> Quick, Red Fox, calling Blue Leader. Quick, Red Fox, calling Blue Leader. Uh, this is Blue Leader. Uh, Blue Leader. Uh, go ahead, Quick, Red Fox. Binghamton can't eat. Spend all time watching base. He look very worried. Well, that's great. Now, let me know the minute he starts to move out. Blue Leader, over and out. We'll go. <laughs> General Parker, you're the operations officer. Start operating, buddy. Yes, sir. One war nerve coming right up. There's some kind of a signal there. 
Tell me what they're saying. Yes, sir. What are they saying? What? Well, it looks as if someone is flashing a weather report, sir. A weather report? Yes, sir. The coast is clear. <laughs> Bring booze. Got girls. I know. I know it. They've got my nurses. Now the saltwater tramps are throwing a wild party on the base. Carpenter, get my boat. Yes, sir. He's taking off like a big bird. He's heading your way. Roger and out. This is Blue Leader. This is Blue Leader. Blue Leader calling Abel Baker. Proceed with Operation Highball. This is Abel Baker. Message received. Wilco and out. Boy, this sure seems like a waste of good liquor to me. I guess the skipper knows what he's doing. Can you hurry up? They'll be here any minute. Hey, here they come! Start spraying! <laughs> the lights are out. They must have seen us coming. I smell liquor. <laughs> Carpenter, were you drinking at the club? Me, sir? No, sir, not in front, sir. Well, somebody was. The air is filled with it. Well, this place smells like one of Al Capone's warehouses. <laughs> I'm going to get to the bottom of this. And stop that inhaling! <laughs> okay, stand by. Checkpoint Charlie reports Binghamton 100 yards away. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, contact Green Dog. Tell him to start Operation Hot Lips. <laughs> We'll go. Green dog over and out. Okay, they're coming now. Let's uh, let's get part of it. I'll do the best I can, but you ain't my type. <laughs> oh, oh, stop! Oh, stop, Sailor Boy! Oh, you're... What's that? Daddy, it sounds like a girl, sir. A girl? Put your light over there. You just... <laughs> Girl. Now they're turning my base into a floating geisha house. Come back, come back here! Did you recognize him? It was one of McHale's men, wasn't it? I think so, sir. But I must be wrong. Wrong? Why? The fellow I thought I recognized was the native girl. Carpenter, you have been inhaling. Oh, no, sir! <laughs> what a week! I haven't been able to enjoy one night at the club. Every time I shove off, Mikhail and that bunch start carousing. And not once have I been able to catch him with the goods. Oh, I could just scream. Oh, I could too, sir. Don't you dare. <laughs> I'm telling you, it may not be tonight or tomorrow night or the next, but I'm going to get them. Oh, I'm going to get them, and when I do, they'll spend so much time behind bars, they'll think they're parakeets. <laughs> what is it? It's Admiral Reynolds, sir. His plane is just landing. Admiral Reynolds here. Oh, that's all I need. One of his surprise inspection tours. All right, all right. I, I want every man and piece of equipment on this base shining in five minutes. Yes, sir. What about McHale, sir? Oh, what about McHale, sir? Carpenter, why is it you always have the questions? You never have any answers. <laughs> well, sir, maybe we could put a 24-hour Marine guard on, on McHale and his men. Negative. They've only got one Marine company. We'd need a whole division to keep those bandits in check. It's too bad he's not out on a mission right now, sir. A mission? Well, that's it. With McHale and those water rats out at sea, they can't do any harm, Carpenter. You're a genius. Oh, thank you, sir. On second thought, I am. I thought of it. Go on, Skip. Go on. Yeah, go on, Skip. Tell us. Well, that's why he wants us out on patrol. Out of sight, out of trouble. Not only that, but he's taking Reynolds to the officers' club for dinner. If the Admiral gets to like the place, we'll never get it back. That's we'll, all we need. We'll wind up being part of the Navy. Yeah, no more Fuji. No more Luau. Well, how about me? The only Native gal I've been out with lately is... is him. Don't knock it. I've seen what you've been out with before. I think you guys have problems. What am I going to do in my laundry business? My souvenir shop? Hey, Gruber. You still got that Japanese stuff? Sure, Skipper. I'll let you have it cheap. i tell you what. No. Let me tell you. Binghamton wants us to go out on a mission. All right, we'll go on a mission. 
Banzai! <laughs> Leonton, I must admit I was quite pleased to find your base so shipshape. Oh, thank you very much, Admiral, and I, I hope that you're enjoying our new officers' club. Yes, yes, fine, fine, but, uh, well, isn't it rather far from the main base? Oh, no, sir, no, Admiral. You see, I planned it this way. Oh. See, this is the only way that we can have a little privacy and tranquility, something that we officers deserve, don't you yes. agree? <laughs> what in blazes? Well, that sounds like, uh... Everybody down! We're under attack! Oh, yes, what, 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 what? It's a nip landing party, sir. Yes, sir. Draw the landscape and we're moving back here tomorrow. I, I don't understand it, Jeff. How did they get through our... Uh... Who cares? They're here. Yes, okay. I thought you were on a patrol. Oh, Miguel. we were, sir. We were. Yes, sir. It's a lucky thing we saw this uh, our Jap submarine, sir, uh, headed this way. And so we turned around and, uh, and headed off before it got to base. Good man, McHale. Uh, uh, yeah, well, I'm only trying to do my duty, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, what are your orders, sir? You're the ranking officer here. My orders? Oh, yes. Uh, uh, watch your flanks. Uh, be sure you keep them covered. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Yes. Oh, that's very good, sir. Very good. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, I'll report back on how we're doing. And, and, and stay down, Captain. Stay down. <laughs> All right. Come on, you guys. You're supposed to be fighting for your lives. A couple of you Japs start dying. Hey, Groover, come here. Come here. Ah, so I hear, Skipper-san. I uh, hear, Skipper-san. Look, get all your souvenirs and scatter them around the beach now, will you? Scatter them around? Oh, Skipper. Don't oh, argue. Do it. Come on. OK, men. Charge them down to the sea. Charge! Come on, come on. Come on, let's go. Hey, yeah, yeah, where you going? You want to get caught? Get back there in the bushes. Holy cow. Never get a chance to get on the winning side. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, this is where it happened. Well, I don't understand. This is no prisoners. There's not even a body. Uh, well, uh, when we uh, pushed the ball down to the sea, sir, uh, uh, some of them must have uh, gotten out to the Jap sub and, well, the others. <laughs> Great job, Mikhail. I'm going to recommend you and your men for a citation for this. Oh, well, you don't have to do that, sir. We were just following orders. Uh, we were under your command, sir. Nonsense. You deserve it. Don't they, Binghamton? Uh, yeah. Oh, yes, 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 <laughs> they do. Yes, Admiral. I, I still don't understand why a Japanese submarine would come in here. Uh, well, it was obvious. You left your flank uncovered. Uh, yes, and, and of course, sir, there was no outpost. There were only an officer's club. Of course. <laughs> your club should be over at the main base, Binghamton. Make this place an outpost, and it won't happen again. Well, my men and I would be very happy to volunteer for that assignment, sir. Yes, sir. Now, you say you don't deserve a citation. Now, you're a brave man, Mikhail. I can't think of a better outfit than yours for the job. Yes, and as of now, this officer's club here is your new quarters. Oh, well, thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Twenty dollars marked down to fifteen ninety-five. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 